Hi everyone, welcome back. In the last video, basically we just talk about what Charuco is, also how to simply generate a Charuco board. And in this video, we are gonna focus to Charuco detector. In here, we are gonna uh, basically uh, use a Charuco board in the physical environment, show it to the camera, and it's gonna give us the corners of that Charuco board. And uh, for that, we need to use the detect board function and also uh, to draw the uh, corners we already have a function in here which is the row detector corners charuco okay um, i'm not gonna talk in here the, about the parameters we can directly switch to the code part this was the code from the previous video simply we were just generating a charuco board in here uh, i'm gonna use this uh, origin image which is including a charuco board in the physical environment so all i need to is just uh, giving this image so I'm expecting it to give me these corners and these corners at the end is gonna be used for the camera calibration it's not gonna be the topic of this video but just to know all we need is this uh, these uh, corner points uh, yeah after at the end of this video okay basically we need uh, this one before so I can still use that Charuco board and here I need to initialize um, basically just um, this Aruko and then Charuko detector and here uh, we can call it Charuko detector and for that uh, there are some overloading constructors so I need just this one similar to the Aruko detector I'm not gonna get into the details of the other parameters there are some other which very similar to the Aruko detector and I'm just gonna simply give the board because uh, we need to give that the information which kind of uh, Charuco board I, I'm gonna use uh, in the camera so if it doesn't know which kind of uh, Charuco board with type of that so it's not gonna give us the correct results at the end okay after that uh, by using this okay this wrong Charuco detector okay uh, we can also not, okay Charuco detector that um, basically just detect board and here we need to give image we need to give the Charuco corners, Charuco IDs, and marker corners. So we need to define some vectors similar to the Aruko detector video we already did. And here we need to give the Charuco IDs maybe. And also we need to give the point, which is gonna be the in the type of point 2f for decimal points. And here we need to give Charuco corners. And also we can give the marker corners, uh, which is, but uh, marker corners is gonna give us also the point, corner point of this each Aruko marker, but uh, for the calibration purpose only we need here. So for now we can skip here, but uh, yeah, if you need, you can also detect by this function, uh, these corners also. Okay. And image we already give, then Charuko corners we already give now what is that charuco corners oops okay i write wrongly charuco corners charuco corners and then charuco ids okay this one so markers we can skip now and after detecting done we can call the other function which we already talk oops which is gonna be the the uh, draw uh, detected corners charuco okay here we need to give the image at the end we want to see and the charuco corners this for just visualization purpose by the way and also we need to give the charuco ids so it's gonna give us the output this information then all is done we can run the code um oops something messy i see why this is detected let me see again okay so I made the number wrongly this was the code from the previous video one two three four five number of squares in the x-axis and the um, seven no three four five six seven seven in the y-axis so I need to update here so five seven okay let's see again so now all is perfect now I, now I get all the corners in this Charuco board this is gonna be used for the camera calibration also it's giving me the IDs basically for this video simply I just want to talk about the detection of this Charuco board before we talk about the generating the Charuco board now after printing that you get that physical Charuco board 
then you can by using this of course this should be in a uh, very clean surface so uh, to be able to get a very uh, clear calibration so after getting these information you need to gather this all from many kind of frames because this one is not enough for the camera calibration you need to collect many of these kind of pictures in different perspectives then you can be able to use um, this for the calibration of your camera and i'm done for this video thanks for watching see you in the next videos